Years before Han was rocking the Kessel Run, the cast of the USS Enterprise was traveling the galaxy, bringing sci-fi where no one had gone before. And that's why I'm here in Las Vegas to pay homage to the show that started it all, Star Trek. From what I hear down there, this is the biggest Star Trek convention in the United States. It is. There are generations of fans here. The dealer's room is loaded with paraphernalia and crap from all the shows that you can buy. And what that creation has done is create a weekend all about Star Trek, all about all of the Star Treks. Why do you think Star Trek has lasted so long? I think it's basically Gene Roddenberry, new good television. What do you think Gene would think of this new vision, new direction that they're taking with it? He always believed that shows go forward, that it's always the future, never go back. So I think he probably would have done something different, but I'm sure that he wished them well. Well, there you have it, Jonathan Frakes and Michael Dorn, two of the biggest personalities in the Star Trek universe. I've seen I bigger. We're talking weapons here with John Jones from Jones Bones. Now, John, you got some deadly stuff here. This is a bird of prey dagger, a Klingon bird of prey dagger. It's, it's pretty lethal. The way it works is you can close this and put this in a sheath, or you can open this up and use this for gutting a person sideways like this. This is what the Klingon warriors uh, used to kill their buddies with and kill other people in space with. I've managed to trap it, the holy grail. Shatner's here. This is an actual Paramount paycheck to DeForest Kelly, and it's only $352.03. Now, as we can see, it's worth $10,000. I'm asking $10,000. Okay. I'll try not to fall on the floor laughing if you offer me a lot less. Now, walking around the Star Trek convention is cool, but I'm trying to strike fear into the hearts of Trekkies, and that's why I'm with Tim here. Tim, what are we going to do to me to make me deadly? Well, we're going to turn you into a Klingon today. And what we're going to use is a foam latex piece like this. So let's make sure it fits. Ooh, I would totally make sweet Klingon love to myself. This looks amazing, sir. But I can't leave here without a proper clean on name because I'm going to my luncheon, so what should I call myself? Uh, how about the talk? Ooh, what does that mean? Uh, it's, it's kind of a greeting. That sounds awesome. Thank That's you so lot. much. I appreciate You're it. Welcome. The talk. Good call. The talk, off to lunch. The transformation is complete. How? Hey, Patak. That's what I'm talking Time about. to make my way to the Klingon blood feast where I'll dine with my rich brethren on the spoils of the convention and learn their ways. Do we ever hug? No. Yeah. No? No. You don't want just a little? Come on. You guys mind if I join you? Stiff, you must. Shit. How do I eat like a Klingon? Do you take bites or do you just try to put... And you eat it, eat it, eat it. And you must drink. And you must drink. Eat and drink. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I thank you guys for your time. Um, to talk? The talk, fellas. One, two, one, two, three. The talk. One, two, three. The talk. I'm good. Talk. Weapons, full-on makeup, and a Klingon blood feast. You don't just attend a Star Trek convention. No, you live it.